normally I stand here with a coconut, but it's left with my jacket, so I feel a bit naked. This is where we work. We source coconuts, millions and millions of coconuts. This is our team. We travel with canoes through the mangroves and all tropical places. Believe me, it's not only nice. We, there are a lot of mosquitoes there. It's burning hot. But we need millions of coconuts. Yearly, there are about 7.4 billion coconuts harvested worldwide. This is, to give you an idea, the whole of Paris covered in five meters of coconuts. Every year, each year. Most of the value comes from inside the nut. The food, the water, all the delicious things from the tree of life. But the outside, the husk, the hairy part, is hardly ever used. About 85% is being wasted. It's being flushed in the sea. It's burned. It attracts rats. And the rats attract snakes. It attracts mosquitoes. So it's a big problem for the, the farmers. The farms love to get rid of it, but it has no value. So. We have a big problem with the coconuts, but there's not a big problem in Asia, and that's the big demand for wooden pallets. Asia needs about 1.7 billion wooden pallets per year to export goods to us. The problem is they don't have any trees left. It's just, it has to be cut somewhere else, it has to be shipped, it has to be fumigated against pests, insects, and then after all, it ends up in Europe or America and is being burned or wasted. So that's 170 million trees each year to transport goods to us from Asia. But we thought, let's solve one problem with the other. And we made a cocoa pellet. So we collect the husks, we mill it, and we press things that are strong, Sustainable. Can it go back to or? Yes, the red one. See, you see here, if I have a normal stack of pellets, it's like three times as high as nestable. So we can put about 1,400 in a container to our customers. But here you see, they're affordable. We noticed that so many people in business, they talk about sustainability, how nice it is, how important it is for our children and blah, blah, blah. But at the end, they don't pay for it. They don't want to pay a little extra for a sustainable solution. So we made it easy for them. We make our cocoa pellets cheaper than the wooden pellets they currently use. They are at least a dollar cheaper. So we make, not only we create value from waste, but we make sustainability available and affordable. I think this is the challenge for most entrepreneurs that really have the obligation to change and also the privilege to change this, this place. Make sustainability affordable. Then you can compete. Then you have a big market. This is the farmers we talked to when we were in the, in the mangroves. And we buy the waste from them. So we create income in the beginning of the chain. And also we create loyalty in the chain so we can get our coconuts as soon as we're copied. A lot of people ask us about copyright, but you know, in China they say copyright is the right to copy. So <laughs> how to beat that? See, we started the local transportation, we just used existing systems that transport coconuts. So little boats, canoes, it works best. We have a great, wonderful team. I'm so grateful to be here, thanks to them. The people in the forest, at the university, or technical partners, or uh, chief design who's also here, I'm so grateful. So, one little thing, like if your company uses a lot of pallets to transport goods from A to B, just contact us, go to the website, meet us here, and we're very happy to talk and listen to you what would be the solution for you. Thank you so much. Okay.